smoke and mustard. We're into the, the holiday season. We're right around the corner of giving. So the topic for today, we want to welcome our YouTube audience and our Vimeo audience to Hudson Church Tuesday Night Bible Study class. And we want to talk and give a, a, a teaching on giving. Is that good or not? Yeah. Uh, on giving, right? So we have to learn what the Bible says about giving God's way. This is the time of season where most there's so many frustrated people because of giving that they think that they can't give and that they have to give to people and, and they want to be people pleasers and they just give things that I uh, just I just gave them a gift and at least I gave you something right that's not what God wants we want to learn how to give according to the word of God amen so now is it better to give or to receive a yeah. model says it's better to receive <laughs> Look what he says. He said, no, it's better to receive. He said, he liked it. All right, so now, Acts 20, verse 35, our first scripture. Acts 20, verse 35. And for five. Ready? Go. In everything, I appoint it out to you by example. Let's all read. Ready? Again. In everything, I appoint it out to you by example that by working diligently in this manner, we ought to assist the weak. Being mindful of the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said, It is more blessed, makes one happier, and more to be angry, to give than to receive. Okay? Now, how many agree with that? Amen. That it's better to give Amen. than it is to receive. Amen. Okay? Now, why, but before we get there, before we get there, what does it mean to give? So this Bible study, now we can talk, we have, what does it mean to give? Because we, we, we do it, right? But what does it mean to give the word give? Eddie? To bless somebody. To bless somebody. Go ahead. Good. What else? To give. To think of someone else. To think of someone else. Okay, good. Uh, right now. To share. To share. Okay. If you look at the Webster's Dictionary, there's like 20 definitions for the word give. Check it out tonight when you just go home. See how many right. different definitions are give. To help somebody. To help. Anyone else? To make somebody happy. To make someone happy. Anyone else? All right, so thank you for that. Let's see. To give, the word give, to cause or allow something valued or needed to go to another person or group. So number one, to cause or allow something valued or needed to go to another person or group. The next definition, to put something into someone's hand. To put something into someone's hands is to give, okay? Also to give is to cause someone to hold or process something for a specific reason. So let's say I give you authority. Because remember, we're talking about biblical giving, all right? So Jesus gave authority to who? In reference to his power. Who's that? Us. Uh, Bring it to yourself, man. He gave you the authority. Okay? He gave you the authority. Over, the, over, over, over what? Over all, some of the power of the enemy? Oh, so he gave you that authority. What are you doing with it? Are you using it? Are you taking care of that authority? Or are you just putting it aside? He's gaining cobwebs. Some of us have not used that authority. And now how do you think he's going to feel? He says, I gave you authority over this problem, and why are you not using that authority the way you're supposed to? No, Jesus, I want you to do it. Uh -uh. He said, I gave you the authority to, to over all the powers of the enemy. It's up to us now to use that uh, power in, here on this earth in Jesus' name. Yes or no? Amen. Who are God's hands here on this earth? Yeah. Who are God's feet here on this earth? Yeah. Who is God's voice here on this earth? Yeah. We are. So now if we're not doing it, who's going to do it? So they say, no, he'll do it. The pastor says, no, it's up to us to do it. There are some people that I'm never going to reach. There's only certain people that you are the only ones they're going to listen to. So we have the authority here, and we have to give them the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. What does the world say about diamonds? Yeah. Yeah. Is that true statement? So <laughs> you answer and say, yeah. <laughs> no, Jesus is uh, the uh, <laughs> So I'm helping you guys out. You're going to get a gay say, here's Jesus. He's going to throw you off. Get out of here. I want my diamond. You know, you're going to regret it. All right, so I'm helping you out here on that one. Put, put a little piece of paper. Put Jesus on it. See, okay, see what she says uh, on that. All right, so now, Jesus is, is the world's best friend, not diamonds. Okay, but now, so now, um, so, so we have the definitions of giving. So now, why do you think 
that Jesus said to us, it is better to give, to be a giver, than to receive. Why do you think he said that? This is Bible study. Because he gives to us. Okay, good. Anybody else? Come on. Because God is a giver. Hold on. And who are we supposed to be like? Him. Him. How many here men have sons? Raise your hands if you've got sons. Not more sons. Okay. Do you want your sons to be like their moms or like you? If you're honest, they're like you, right? Yep. Okay, so now this works for the daughters also, okay? Mm -hmm. So because I know this, and moms want their daughters to be like their fathers? No, they want to be like them, most of them, right? So now, God wants us to be like him. He's a giver by name. God is a giver, so if we are true sons of God, the most high God, we should be what? Yeah. Givers, okay? Remember, because he's our number one example, we're supposed to be like God. So that's why Jesus said that. So now... Let's just prove that God is a giver, first of all. So John 3.16. John 3.16. Ready? Go. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So God gave. Okay? And some of us think after a while, we accept the Lord Jesus, that, that we earned it. None of us can earn salvation, okay? None of us, okay? Not by our good works. It is a free gift that God gave it to us in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. 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 All right, so now, uh, Romans 8, uh, verse 32. 8, 32. Ready, go. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also what? Freely give us all things. So what does God want to give to us? How? Really? really, man. Some Christians believe that they got to work for things. Okay? You don't have to work for your healing. And I'm not talking about working in the natural. I'm, I'm first speaking about the blessings of God. You don't have to work to be loved. You don't have to work to receive your eternal life. You don't have to work to receive the blessings of God. All you have to do is receive them because God freely gives us what? Some things? Oh. Now the devil is the one, religion is the one that's saying, no, no, you got to do this, 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 and that in order to get that, that. That's a lie. The Bible says here that he wants to give us freely all things. Amen? Yeah. Anyone have a question on that? Okay, so we're talking about, we had some people that came in about giving. So uh, the topic is giving. So now, yes? Um, number three, you were going so fast so we can get number three. Number three of what? To give. What do you mean? Okay. Um, to cause someone to hold or possess something for a specific person. Or a specific reason, I'm sorry. Let me say it again. To cause someone to hold or possess something for a specified reason. Why does the, the town give to a police officer a gun? To hold it for what? So you can play with it? What? To use it for what? A specific reason. Okay? Now, that's the reason for it. Now, can you use that for a, a, a not a specific reason? And use it for the wrong reason. Okay? So can you use the power that we have? You start giving some knowledge. How about this? We accepted the Lord, and not all of our family or friends accepted the Lord. And now we start using the Word of God, instead of loving people, to bang them over the head with the Word of God. Have we ever been Bible bashers? Yep. You know what that is? Your, your friends, you know what? Instead of, you're going to hell, and this and that. So instead of loving them, we're bashing them with the Word of God. And you think God is happy when we do that? No. How do you overcome evil? Good. With good. How do you bring people into the kingdom of God? Telling them they're going to hell? Or loving them through love. Through goodness and love. Amen? 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 Amen. Amen. Alright, so now, does that answer the question? Yes. Okay, alright, so now, before we go, things to give to people. Things to give to people, and it won't cost you nothing. Things to give to people, so let's talk about it. Things that we can give to people that will not cost you nothing. Economically. Love, right there. Love is the first thing that you should give to people. What else? Hope. Hope. Respect, good. I mean, I didn't have that one. Respect, I like that. Uh, somebody said hope. Okay, go ahead. What else should we give to people? Compassion. Compassion. I had that one. Okay. What else should we give to people? 
Mercy, I like that one. I didn't have that in my list. Mercy, what else should we give to people? Encouragement, I had that. 